Edumotok is a community in Calabar municipality whose history dates back many years ago as a borough pit. Densely populated and covered by vegetation, it is said to have a population of over 3,000 inhabitants down the valley. We have um, properties, we have schools and churches very close to the, to the gully. If not control, um, I think we are going to have a um, devastating situation. The area which has suffered several degrees of erosion has no access road for motor vehicles, thereby making mobility by car impossible. Investigation reveals that residents in this neighborhood began building without a proper refilling, which is gradually eating into the earth, leaving it prone to all forms of natural disaster. Six years ago, tragedy befell this community, where seven persons, including a heavily pregnant woman, were buried alive after a building collapsed on them. The community has since then been threatened by landslide due to intense rainfall in recent times. Access to portable water is also a major challenge for the community who rely on this spring for its major source of water. If you just want to, to wash our clothes, at times you use to cook but we don't drink it. When you want to get drink water, it's either you buy pure water up there or you go inside or climb up to get, a, to, uh, get the water from borehole so you can drink. Apart from that, there's no any source of water. Within the axis of borough pits, at the University of Calabar Satellite Town axis, lies another major disaster waiting to happen. An erosion has eaten deep into the area. This retired civil servant narrates his ordeal in the face of the looming danger. And by the time I parked here, there was little or no gully, as you can see now. It was just a small gutter where tippers used to gut sand. And it was eroded, the foundation lost. And so that's where we are. We hope something will be done to salvage what is even remaining. Excavation of sand many years ago was identified as a major cause of this gully whose footprints remain a nightmare and death trap to residents. The ones government at all levels and relevant authorities to come salvage the situation before the whole community gets consumed. The Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project promises to intervene while calling on residents to cooperate. All the backfilling in those uh, gabions, gabion walls and undermined the backfields, scoring for sand. And today, all the geotestal material, the gabions and other materials were all destroyed by the use. And they said, don't want. So we have to do another set of designs for that to do and, and of course, we cannot do it on our own without the cooperation of the communities. As the rain intensifies, the fate of these ones and those living around over 500 gully erosion sites across Cross River State depends on speedy intervention of government and other relevant agencies. Until then, the residents might find it impossible sleeping with both eyes closed. Imani Ode. Channels Television News.